So this is a boy and a girl. Let's call her Cassio. Let's call her Cassio and let's call him the greatest. Let's call him the greatest. So let's say I had three hundred dollars to share between Cassio and the greatest. Between Cassio and the greatest. But the thing is, I want to give the greatest $100 extra than Cassio. How would we determine how much money to give Cassio and how much money to give the greatest? So, we want to share $300 between Cassio and the greatest, but we want to give the greatest $100 extra. This is easy. Most of y'all probably pull out the answer from your hat already. Most of y'all probably know the answer. Yeah, we're gonna end up giving the greatest 200 and we we'll give Cassio 100. 200 and 100 is 300 and this guy ends up with 100 more than Cassio. Now, this is a question that comes all the time in SEA. This video, I want to take you through examples of this question in SEA and how to solve it. The topic is called unequal sharing. But before I show you how to actually do the unequal sharing question, I want to try an experiment. So let's see if a form 5 student can handle these questions. So come. So this is Zadie. Um, two years ago, everybody knew you as certified Samsung sister. You don't have to know, but um, she is a young, growing influencer in her own right. And she's the pro for 400 different things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there. So what I have here is a question. And it's an unequal sharing question and it's for primary school students and I want to see if you can handle the question. So which one do you want? So let's see how long it takes to do this question. So while we wait for Zaylin to finish the question, how about we try it for ourselves? In this question, the sum of three students' ages is 45. Peter is older than Harry and Selena is also older than Harry. 1 by 15, 1 by 12 years old. So the question is asking us to figure out Harry's age and Selena's age. So this is a classic style of unequal sharing. There are several ways it can come and I want to show you how I go about thinking with unequal sharing questions. So Harry has an age and Peter has Harry's age plus an additional 12 years. So I'm like seeing this in my mind. And then Selena has Harry's age plus an additional 15 years. In my mind, I am seeing Harry has a sum age and Peter and Selena has Harry's age plus some extra. So I want to remove that extra. And we starting to crack the question already. So in all, they add up to 45 but the extra years that they have on Harry is 12 and 15. So that's 27 years they are older than Harry by together, Peter and Selena. So if I remove this, I get 18 years. And the idea with this is that 18 years represents three times Harry's age. Because this 12 and 15 is just extra years that Peter and Selena both have on Harry. So if I'm thinking about removing this extra years, I would just get Harry's age plus Harry's age plus Harry's age. How is that for you? So to find Harry's age, all I need to do is divide by three now, and that gives me six years. Additionally, to find Selena's age, I will just add back the additional years that she has on Harry, and I'll get 21, 15, and 6. So here's an example of how you can stately work into this question. But let's look at another style. This came in 2019. Maya has 285 stickers. Rennie has 350 stickers. And Zara has 175 stickers. So three persons again. And we're talking about stickers. And how many stickers should Rennie give to Zara and Maya give to Zara so that they have the same number of stickers? So once again, we have a quantity that's unequally shared and to solve the answer, we need to devise some kind of equal sharing among them. So what I will do
is firstly find the total number of stickers. But before I go ahead and do this, can you all solve the question? Pause the video and solve the question. See if you can solve this question. Those of you all who did, let's see if you get it out. If you didn't and you just want to um, enjoy the show, <laughs> let's go. So this is 810 stickers in total. Now, if we need to share it equally among three persons, sharing means dividing. Three can go into 81, 27, 0. So each person should get 270 stickers, but apparently Zara only has this amount. So what we need to do? How many stickers Rene should give and Maya should give? Well, Rene, she has 350, but she really should have 270. So she needs to lose 80 stickers to Zara, and she would remain with her 270. Likewise, Maya, who has 285 stickers, needs to give 15 of her stickers to Zara so that she as well can have the 270. And just to double check, Zara will now end up with 175 plus the 80 from Rene plus the 15 from Maya, which you can work out to be 270 stickers. I don't know how to do this, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do it? No. Um, just keep recording, okay? Just do that. So the sum of Harry, Peter, and Selena's ages. Where is that again? Yes, yeah. Out of the excess ages, mm -hmm. so there's a 12 year more than Harry, and there's a 15 year more than Harry. So you're adding up that, you get 27. Remove that from the. 45. 45. Sorry, <laughs> 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 So, this value here tells us Harry's age. Mm -hmm. So, Harry's age is 6 because you remove the excess ages that excess age that Peter and Selena have. So, there's 12 plus Harry, 15 plus Harry. So, it comes like when I remove the excess, it's like if I have 3 Harry's. Mm -hmm. So, dividing it in my 3 will give me Harry's age. 6, right? So, Harry is 6 and Selena will be 15 and 6. Exactly. Which is. <laughs> She's doing an answer. <laughs> so now that you have an idea of how to do the question, I'm going to give you another question. It's the same one you call sharing principle, and I want to see if you can do it again. Let's go. 